Our match starts in three, two, one, go. That's three quick cubes for the Red Alliance. And one robot trying to get that engaged bonus on their charge station, which they do get. Unfortunately, Blue Alliance just a little too far past that charge station. All right, two cones are heading towards the Red Alliance to see if they can score 28-11, trying to put a cone on one of those nodes. Meanwhile, Blue Alliance trying to do the same thing. Got team 36-73 chasing down a cube. Chaos Theory trying to gingerly place that little cute cone on their charge station in the cooperation zone. It does fall, but it will score some points and it will get closer to that cooperation bonus. Meanwhile, on Red Alliance, we have at least one link. And they've got five in a row on that top level. That means one more on that top level and they'll have two links. Pig Mice 27-33, inching closer to that substation where they're hoping to grab a cone and head over to their grid. They are passed by 957, which knocks the cone out of their grasp. 957 going to try to, to grab a cone of their own. Thirty-six seventy-three. the Cyborg Seagulls have a cube in their possession. They're going to start heading towards their own grid, trying to not block in their own person. Stormbots pushing through two Blue Alliance robots on their way to their grid. 59.75, that's uh, Beta Blues trying to grab a cone on the ground, maybe just push it into their scoring zone. In the last 30 seconds of the match, we're hoping to see at least one of these teams get a ranking point by getting enough of their robots on that charge station for the activation bonus. Looks like for both teams, the sustainability bonus may be just out of reach. With 10 seconds left, we already have the Blue Alliance charged, docked, and engaged. Red Alliance with five seconds left gets that engagement as well. And the winner is the Red Alliance. Taking away three ranking points.